Welcome back to What Matters This Week. This Sunday, I'm Lauren Maloney. Joining me now, Marissa Parisi from Rise VT and Vicki Lohner from One Care Vermont. Ladies, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for thank having you. us. A partnership, you could say, between yes. One Care and Rise. Right. So let's start with One Care for people who don't know. Sure, thanks so much. So sure. One Care Vermont is a statewide accountable care organization and sometimes that's shorthanded for ACO, you'll often hear. And really the simplest way to describe what an ACO is, is it provides the opportunity for physicians, hospitals, healthcare providers to come together to support people, both when they're sick and need that kind of support, and also um, when they're healthy and wanna be able to do things to thrive in their communities. And that's what makes a great partnership between RISE Vermont and One Care Vermont, is that prevention aspect of it, as well as the focus on building a system that supports people when they best need it. So for people who may say, I really haven't heard about this, how could it help or benefit me? What would the answer be? So I would like to think that um, individuals, so the way that, if I back up a little bit, the way that individuals are part of an accountable care organization is their physician or nurse practitioner or others will sign up to participate with One Care Vermont. Um, and that means that they have really, um, believed in and encompassed the values of both health care and well care. And um, as part of that relationship that they have with patients that come into their practice, that's how they're part of One Care Vermont. And they would know because they would get a letter in the mail okay. that says, hi, your physician or your nurse practitioner is part of One Care Vermont and let us tell you about the benefits of it. We hope that um, people will experience the care in a little bit different way than what they previously experienced. So what that means to me is it's a different conversation and a different partnership that you have with your primary care provider or your nurse practitioner in that the conversation isn't just focused on say for me, it's not just focused on my hypertension. It's really focused on what are those things that I want to do and what are those things that are important to me that will also help with my blood outside pressure. Outside of the nitty gritty outside when it comes of the to nitty -gritty, healthcare. Outside of the nitty gritty, right, yeah. because I don't, you know, necessarily like, I know what the, what the numbers mean, mm -hmm. but in the grand scheme, when I'm operating every day, what's important to me that I can hike with my daughter, right? That I can keep up with her. She's 12 years old, so she's a very busy person. And so having that conversation with my physician to say, I really want to make sure that I can exercise, that I can go hiking, that in turn accomplishes both of our goals, right? Because I'm gonna reduce my mm -hmm. blood pressure through that exercise and stress relief. Um, and it's not just a conversation about what my blood pressure is like. And we'd like to think that also you have a team around you that's really supporting you. I think about it as almost like a virtual team and you have an advocate to be able to say, these are my goals, this is what I'd like to do. I wanna go fishing with my grandkids. I wanna go to a soccer game. And programs like Rise Vermont and this partnership really allows to build those healthier communities to help people thrive where they live, work, and play. So, And Marissa, RISE started small in right. one part of the state and then really, really took off recently. Right, so uh, RISE Vermont started in 2015 as a partnership between Northwestern Medical Center and the Vermont Department of Health to do exactly what Vicki just said, and that is um, in this change in working with the ACO at Northwestern Medical Center, they said, how can we actually provide those opportunities when people in their doctor's office say, I'd like to, uh, I may have hypertension, how could I fix that? Maybe what I could do is engage in some new things in my community and also do things things like make sure in your community you have sidewalks or that you have safe places to play with your kids to really um, make the community a place where mm -hmm. you can have the best health. So let's touch on two things. Um, a campaign called What's Your Play mm -hmm. fits into that. It, it, like you yeah. said, ex extending you know the relationship, how you can help yourself in other ways. Yeah. So what's that about? Well, sometimes when you get this information in your doctor's office, let's say that maybe... It's a lot. It's a, it lot. a lot. And you feel kind of alone, I think, when you yeah. learn, oh no, I have high 
blood pressure, maybe for the first time, um, what can I do about that? Well, Rise Vermont is there to really help you think about small ways that you can make changes to your life that really lead to better health outcomes. So What's Your Play is a great example of that. It's a campaign where we're encouraging kids and families or even older Vermonters to think about different things you like to do to play. Like, for example, sometimes it's as simple as play blowing bubbles and having kids <laughs> chase them around in the park, right? Um, but it gets you out there and it helps you have fun. Involve and your pets. Oh yeah, involve yes. your pets. Lots of people like to do that, um, involving their pets and getting out and playing a little frisbee with your dog. And Rise Vermont does a lot of neat things too, like providing the frisbees or offering fun events to help you get started and then hopefully continue. Also explain triple aim as well. So really at the basic core of it is you want people to have a better experience with their health care, right? You want them to feel like they're part of a team, they're part of the conversation. The other component is of better health, so better health for the population. So taking care of the community so that the community can thrive and populations can do better where they live. And then the third aspect of it is reducing the overall cost of health care because health care is expensive and we want it to be affordable for our generations mm -hmm. to come. And if you're focusing on wellness, you will get those long-term benefits of reduced cost because people won't need to go to the emergency room. They won't need to go to the hospital as often because they're living that, the healthy life that everybody wants. Everybody wants mm -hmm. to be healthy and well. Vicki, a, a Vermonter who has taken part, what is their reaction to you about how it has benefited them in a certain way? I would say um, at a certain level, um, the ACO operations is somewhat transparent to them, but the relationship with their primary care provider and the nursing community around it and the, the community at large has been really positive and that has been a, a good experience. We. Um, we try to um, look at what have some of the early successes have they been and we've had individuals tell us how it's helped them to spend time with their family, help them to do the things that they love to do, keeps them out of the emergency room because nobody wants to yeah. be in the hospital, right? Nobody wants to have to continuously tell their story over and over again about what they want to do and how they want to be healthy. So I would say the people that we've spoken to, this has been a positive experience for them and a positive experience for them and um, their, their health care providers and their community. Marissa, um, hunger has been a big background of yours, food insecurity. This also plays a part, reaching out, make sure we all have fruits and vegetables that we need. Yeah, that's right. So. Um, a lot of people don't necessarily know this, but there is a very direct connection between food insecurity and obesity. And we um, at Rise Vermont are really looking at all the connections that um, are really having um, an increase in the obesity trends. Right now we have almost a third of Vermonters that are overweight or obese. So what we're really trying to do with Rise Vermont is go even bigger than just the food security work, right? Really look at all the systems within the community. Um, food, where do people like to get their exercise? Do, do kids in school have have access to safe drinking water, really looking at all of it as a system so we can really slow the trends and help people even turn their health around. Ladies, thank you so much for being here. We learned a lot. Thank you Thanks, so much, Lauren. Lauren. We'll be right back on What Matters This Week.